This screencast is on mixed mole conversions, our last section before our quiz on mole conversions. It's just a review of what we've learned so far, so let's jump right in. So this is a review of the three conversion factors that we've been using throughout this chapter. One mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. And remember that particles can be atoms or molecules or formula units. One mole also equals the molar mass in grams, and one mole equals 22.4 liters. Pay particular attention to the fact that one is always associated with the unit mole. The only time we use other numbers is when we're dealing with other units, such as particles, grams, and liters. Let's try this sample problem. What is the mass of 5.87 liters of nitrogen gas? First, we need to know that when we see the word mass, we're trying to find grams. So we want to find how many grams are equal to our given, or 5.87 liters over 1. I want liters to cancel, so it has to go on the bottom of my next fraction. And based on my conversion factors, I know that the number 22.4 always goes with the unit liter. And 22.4 liters is equal to 1 mole. So 1 mole will go on the top. Liters cancels, and I'm left with mole. The problem is, I'm not looking for moles, I'm looking for grams, so I need to have another conversion factor. I want mole to cancel, so I'm going to put one mole on the bottom, and I'm looking for grams, so that means I need to find the molar mass of nitrogen gas. The tricky part here is remembering that nitrogen is a diatomic molecule, so the formula is N2. That means I'm going to take 2 times the atomic mass of nitrogen, which is 14. 2 times 14 is 28. So I put 28 grams on the top of my fraction. Moles cancel, and now I'm going to solve my problem. 5.87 divided by 22.4 times 28 equals 7.34 grams of nitrogen gas. In the second sample problem, I'm asked, how many molecules of carbon dioxide are present in a 58.2 gram sample of the gas? I'm looking for molecules, so that's what I start with question mark molecules equals my given, which is 58.25 grams over 1. I want grams to cancel, so it has to go on the bottom of my next fraction. To use grams, I have to find the molar mass of CO2. In carbon dioxide, there's one atom of carbon times the atomic mass of carbon, which is 12, and there are two atoms of oxygen, so 2 times the atomic mass of oxygen, which is 16 gives me 32. When I add these numbers together, I get a mass of 44 grams. So 44 will go on the bottom of my fraction. 44 grams is equal to one mole of carbon dioxide. Grams cancels, and I'm left with mole. The problem doesn't ask me to solve for moles, it asks me to solve for molecules. So I need another conversion factor. One mole goes on the bottom, and to find molecules, I use Avogadro's number, or 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. To solve my problem, I'm going to take 58.25 divided by 44 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and I get 7.97 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Now it's your turn to try solving these problems. Copy these three practice problems into your notes and then solve them. Turn your completed notes with the completed practice problems into Mrs. Benke, either as a digital copy on Schoology or on a paper copy.